Welcome back everyone, hope you're all having a great December. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as Tropical Plant Addict. I've got a really special plant haul for you today. My friend and fellow YouTuber, Zaheer, also known as Plants and Paints on Instagram and YouTube, and his business is Foliage Fanatic. He called round today with a big box of plants. Him and his wife came round for a cup of tea, it was lovely, his wife's so lovely. I'll attach a little photo of them sat on my sofa. Um, so yeah, basically he came around with a box of plants and I didn't have a clue what plants were in the box apart from one plant that he'd already showed me, which I was super excited about. And yeah, so I, I did open the plants earlier on. I've been quite busy today, so it's actually quite late on Sunday evening now. I don't normally film in the evening, but here we are. I hope the lighting's okay. And yeah, so I've got some amazing plants to show you. And I've got seven plants. Six of them are on the table in front of me and one of them is somewhere else, but I'll show you why in a minute. Thanks again to Zaheer for bringing me these beautiful plants. It's really kind of you and I'm so happy that I am able to kind of help you grow your new plant business. So of course, check out Plants and Paints on Instagram and YouTube. I'll link all the details below. So here films really informative videos about plants, really in-depth videos. And he also takes custom orders on plants as well. So if there's something you've been searching for for a while, just send him a message and he may be able to get it for you. So let's get into the haul and stop rambling. The first plant I want to show you is the Philodendron. White Knight. Now, I have wanted one of these for a very long time. They're quite hard to come by in the UK, especially White Knights that have got really good variegation. This one's got absolutely stunning variegation. I just love the splashes of variegation on these. And the stems are also really beautiful. They're kind of a purpley brown colour and they've got like whitey cream parts on them just really, really beautiful. These are slow growing, but definitely worth the wait. So I guess it's even more exciting when you get a new leaf because they're so slow growing. These are quite compact philodendrons as well. So they're not gonna get too wild and too big. I think I'm going to be placing this one either on my, hang on, I'm just trying to think, west facing, living room or office window. I might actually put this guy upstairs with my pink princesses. I think they would look really nice together, sat on the shelf. So these guys appreciate bright filtered light, try and avoid direct sunlight, especially for long periods of time. Maybe a little bit of dappled sunlight might be okay, but I think the leaves will go a bit yellow and crispy if you get too much direct sun on them and you don't want that. So yes, this is the first plant in the haul, my beautiful philodendron white knight. Next up, it's quite a big one, so I'm gonna have to lean over and get it. It is a philodendron tiger tooth. Now this looks very similar to the ring of fire, but without the variegation. I absolutely love the shape of the leaves. It's amazing and it's massive as well. So yes, same shape as the Ring of Fire, just without the variegation. On this particular philodendron, the new leaves come out this lovely kind of orangey burgundy color. So these are climbing philodendrons, so they would appreciate a lovely moss pole or something to climb up. And as far as I know, I think these are quite fast growing. I'm imagining the more light that you give them, the faster they'll grow and the warmer your environment is as well. This one is definitely a bit of a showstopper. I actually don't have any philodendrons in my collection that look anything like this. So I'm really pleased to have this one in my collection. And yeah, I can't wait to watch it grow. What an absolutely beautiful specimen. So yes, this is the philodendron tiger tooth. Okay, next up we have the most adorable baby, Warroquianum. The cutest little Warro... <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Warroquianum, such a tongue twister. So basically I've put this little guy into the biob air and I had to make a little bit of room for it and create kind of a little shelf. So here is some footage of me actually planting it up into the bio bear.
I think it looks absolutely adorable in the Bio Bear and I think it's going to love it in there because it's very high humidity and it's a nice moist and warm environment in there. It's going to Hopefully it's going to thrive, fingers crossed, because I know they can be a bit tricky. Next up in the haul, we have the Crystallinum Magnificum. How stunning is this plant? It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got these beautiful iridescent silver kind of veining on the leaves. It's so pretty. I love the shape of the leaves, I love how they feel, they're kind of velvety and I'll try and get some footage of it in good light so you can actually see the silver veins because sometimes the camera doesn't pick it up. I don't know too much about this plant to be honest but I'm absolutely thrilled to have it in my collection. I'm going to do some research on it and hope I can keep it happy and obviously once I have been looking after the plants for some time I'll make some care videos. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this one yet. I'm thinking maybe the kitchen window or somewhere in my office, but I'm not completely sure. Once all the plants are settled around the house, I'll do an updated video tour so I can show you how they're all getting along. I really can't wait to take photos of all these plants and plaster them on Instagram. By the time you see this video, I probably would have already posted a couple of pictures of them on Instagram just because I'm so excited to show you. So again, this is the Crystallinum Magnificum. So next up, we've got something a little bit different. This is a hanging plant and it is the Anthurium. Hang on, what's it called? Vitarifolium, I hope I got that right. How cool is this guy? It really reminds me of another plant and I just can't for the life of me think what it is. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, just leave a comment. I absolutely love this guy and I can't wait to hang him in my office. The leaves feel kind of, they feel really leathery and they've got a bit of uh, texture to them. I'll try and kind of zoom in and show you what I mean. But yeah, it's really unusual. I don't know anything about this plant so I'm going to have to do some research on it. But hopefully He'll be happy hanging up in my office. It's going to look awesome. Let me know if you've got one of these. I'm super happy to have this plant in my collection. It's something a bit different and I love it. It's really quirky. Next up, we've got something quite special. This guy is a philodendron paraiso verde. Absolutely beautiful. Kind of similar to the bilitai. Very similar in shape. And actually, when I first took it out the box, I thought it was a bilitai. And then I took a closer look and I realized it wasn't. This guy has got like speckled or mottled leaves. I'll zoom in so you can see properly. It's really, really beautiful. I've actually seen photos of these philodendrons with really intense speckling. And the leaves almost look like white. So I'll be really excited to see what the next leaf comes out like. Obviously all these plants have kind of come all the way from I think Malaysia. They've had a bit of a bit of a journey, probably not feeling their best at the moment. So I'm super excited for spring just to see all the plants take off and just see all the new growth. I cannot wait. Paraíso Verde actually means green paradise in Spanish. So it is a very fitting name for this absolutely beautiful plant and I cannot wait to see it grow and thrive in my home. And I'm not quite sure where this guy is going to go yet either. Oh, this pot's new by the way. I picked this up from HomeSense the other day. How cool is that? Again, I don't know too much about this plant so I'll be doing some research on how to keep it happy. I absolutely love it. So last but not least in the haul, I've got something quite exciting and it is the Anthurium forgetii crossed with the Ace of Spades. How awesome is that? This is really stunning, something that you probably won't see very often. I'm quite intrigued to see how it adapts to my home because I know some Anthuriums can be quite fussy. Some of them will curl up um, if you haven't got enough humidity and then others are just perfectly fine. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too much of a drama queen. This guy has got a new leaf popping out the middle there. 
which is rather exciting. The feel of these leaves reminds me a little bit of the Clarinervium, but maybe slightly thinner. I do quite well with the Clarinerviums, so hopefully this one will be all right. Super happy to have this in my collection. Thank you so much, Zaheer. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the haul as much as I did. A massive thank you to Zaheer at Plants and Paints or Foliage Fanatic. As I said, I'll link all his details below. Go and check out his Instagram page and his YouTube. And I'm sure you'll be seeing lots of pictures of these plants plastered all over Instagram over the next few weeks. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and see you all soon. Bye. Thank you.